Hello everybody, this is Conquering History Game and welcome back, games, and welcome back to part 19 of my Pelly's America playthrough. I know it's been a while since I uploaded one, or actually wait, I think I haven't uploaded the one that goes up before this, so I need to do that. I'm working on getting that up right now. Um, I'm having some Wi-Fi issues, but since I'm having Wi-Fi issues, but I'm not having recording ones, I want to... Wait, are you guys getting the desktop audio? Hmm. I'm not sure. The OBS... I'm not sure the OBS is picking up the desktop audio, but it's fine. It's just some music, which you guys have heard a million times before. So basically, a couple of things. First, I have a different mouse today because uh, my scrolling wheel on the one I've been using has been a real pain. So I pulled out an older mouse of mine, which is a wireless. I usually don't like to use a wireless mouse because I just get annoyed when the battery dies or something. But as you can see, this is working... I think it flows pretty smoothly, and I don't really like having to do the hotkeys. Um, and I'm also using a <coughs> different graphics mod. I know that there's not as many people still watching this series as there was before, but just let me know what you think of the graphics mod, okay? So, we are at war. We are at war indeed. Um, the German Republic has fallen to the Entente. Uh, and we are about to declare war on the German government in exile. And my goodness gracious, I forgot how bad the lag had been. But we're only 10 days away uh, from getting that sorted out um, up here. Oh, yeah, we're, we're, trying to, we're trying to take out Russia, which is not going to solve the problem of the lag. But it, uh, it should do a decent amount against it okay like Matthew Ridgeway you gotta have your people moving forward you just got to please um, so just just forward anywhere just to extend the line and continue to force the Russians to suffer casualties the Russians have taken out one and a half million that's it that's that's nowhere near where it needs to be if you ask me in terms of the casualty rate so yeah, like I was saying, things are things are going very very slow, but I think we'll be all right in the end. Now, where uh, where's this army at? Like, let's let's find the Gettysburg Division. Where are they? They are up here in North Africa, and it seems they are they're going all the way around here in order to get down there. So I guess things are just going to be moving a little bit slow here for a few days. Um, gosh, there's just a million wars happening at once. That's the problem because there's also this thing here between Egypt and Germany uh, that's happening. I just hope we don't get a crash from all of this. Hmm. It's really bad. Um, anyway, so... What my goal here is today, uh, when I'm sitting down for this session, I have, uh, I've got a lot of time, extra time today, and the goal is going to be that I want to completely finish this Pelly's America campaign today, uh, and then, you know, after that I want to work on the, um, I think I have two other, two other Kaiserite campaigns that I have not finished recording yet, and I should have done it a while back, and I'm so sorry that I haven't, uh, but that is uh, going to be the... Is this elite forces? Oh, cool. Keep moving. Uh, that it would. Those are the two CSA campaigns because I have the Foster's America one going, and I also have, I believe, the. Oh, thank goodness, the justification is complete. But I think our people are not in position yet. They're not even close. How long is this going to take? Like, if I just hover over one of these, if we come over here. It's going to take 10 more days for them to actually be in position. Okay, that's fine. Now, I forget. Was I uh, building... I was wanting to, but I haven't started building some infrastructure in these areas. Oh, okay, cool. Baltic Duchy is down. Let's give this to... I don't even care anymore. Just somebody take it. All right. So... We're continuing to make our way towards Petrograd. Um, now, I wanted to... Uh, yeah, so I have those two CSA uh, campaigns. I want to finish that, especially because I just found out that the, the release date of uh, Man of the Guns has been confirmed. It is going to be in, in, in this month. It is going to be in February, not in March. 
And of course, I'm sure those are going to completely break the saves, and you know, all of, all of our favorite mods are going to have to retool. And it especially sucks for uh, the Fuhrer Reich team because I think they just released 0 0.2 a couple days ago, and so they, we're only going to get a month with it before it uh, before it breaks down. I might still try to maybe crank out a quick campaign, do a minor nation or something, uh, just just to see how that is. Uh, but I really, really want to just get all of this stuff done, and this is also is going to mean that. My new CK2 campaign that I've got planned is not going to start. I actually have not even uploaded the finale for the Spanish Reconquista. I've wanted to for a while. But I, I wanted to also get a new series going the same day that I upload that one. Um, but CK2 is not updating anytime soon as far as I'm aware. So there's really nothing to worry about there. Um, and incidentally, if, you're in, if you have questions about me in Imperator Rome, I have absolutely no desire to purchase Imperator Rome. At the moment, uh, I've got plenty of games uh, that I want to play that I already own. If Paradox Interactive wants to offer me a free copy, I'll check it out. Otherwise, you know, sorry if you're looking for that. Uh, but it isn't going to happen. It's, it's, like, it's not that I'm like, oh, I hate the game. It's a stupid game. I'm not saying that at all, uh, meaning Imperator Realm. I, I mean that just... I just don't want to spend money on any new games right now when there's other ones I want to play. So I'll only if they offer me, if, if Paradox contacts me, like they often do, um, and they're like, hey, want a copy to review and stuff? I'll be there. One of my cats is being silly. Stop it, Caesar. Speaking of Rome. Uh, all right. So is everybody more or less in position? I think that's, I think we can call that good enough. All right. Let's do it. Oh, he's meowing now. Shush. He's trying to get it some food. Believe me, he's had enough food. Don't worry about him. Come here, Caesar. Come on. Sit up here. Brought him up here in my lap. All right. What should we do, Caesar? Take over the world? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, my cat's funny. Like, if I put him in my lap, uh, I know I don't have like a face cam or anything, but he will kind of start to look at the keyboard and the screens just trying to figure out, okay, hmm, hmm, what should we do? Hmm, have we engaged our allies? Like, remember, their dead cost us nothing. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's right, the Russians are also down here and they're making a mess with Portugal. Uh, but I think we can just go now. Uh, we should be absolutely annihilating these guys because if we uh, let's look at let's review my template here. Yeah, we got the standard seven two, but I got the maintenance companies, I got field hospitals, engineers, and anti tank in case they have any nasty armor waiting for me. Uh, I don't think so though. I don't think so, Jim. Whoop. All right, any more? Whoops. Anything else in my focus tree? I want to come on. <laughs> Dang, this mouse feels good. This is an old mouse too. I think I've had this mouse like five years. I just kind of keep it in a drawer. Bring it out every so often. Uh, is it War Bonds time? Yeah, because we have less than 100% war support, so let's do that. Okay, so so I think we'll we'll do just fine. Where's Patton's people at? I have them. Oh, that's right, they got cut off temporarily, but now yeah, that's why I was waiting for this war to start with these guys. So now they have access once more, and. We're gonna be able to rip these guys up. Jacob Denver's. Jeez, they, when is Paradox gonna fucking patch that you can't assign a new trait? Like, if just stop highlighting it. Yeah, I get it. There's a blank trait space, but if there's nothing to assign, then stop highlighting it. It's every new session. Clockwork, I tell you. All right. Uh, up here in Russia, this stuff isn't going so fast. Oh, yeah, so so what else was I talking about? Yeah, so I think I've only got those three Kaiserite campaigns to do. I also have those Broadfield ones in Equestria at War, but I think that's all that I'm doing right now. I do not have an active Fuhrerite campaign going at the moment. Yeah, so that ought to be plenty. Oh, yeah. The Nipponese over here. Can I get across this straight? Nope. I think I just keep checking back every once in a while. I just, I'm in no mood to island hop. It's, it's a rare time that I'm in the mood to island hop. And uh, you know, when I'm 
thinking about how I got to get this stuff done before Man the Guns comes out, that doesn't exactly put me in the mood. Now, Man the Guns is another one that, like, the price came out. I don't know what it is in your local area, but it's 20 bucks for me. And I'm, like, me personally, I'm thinking 20 bucks for really just two new focus trees. Because, like, two of them got retooled, I know, but, like, I pretty, if I want to do the American Civil War, I would... You see, here, here's the thing. Here, here's the thing with paradox is like I think people, they put people put on them too much pressure to make focus trees. Oftentimes, it's like I much prefer, I much more care about mechanics. So, for example, the most exciting part of the man the guns thing for me is, of course, I want to see how naval warfare gets reworked, but it's mostly how is the Congress mechanic going to play out in the United States. That is really cool to me. That's not something that I believe I've seen in any mod, nor have I heard about it being in any mod. I've heard about party popularity modifications, but nothing like it, where it's kind of a, like a little bit more detailed level. That's really interesting to me, the congressional mechanic. So I don't get the DLCs thinking about, all right, what focus trees am I getting? Because if I wanted to play the U.S. Civil War, I would play Kaiserreich. Because as we all know, Kaiserreich has an awesome American Civil War. Uh, and if I wanted to play, you know, fascist United Kingdom or something, I'd play Führerreich. Looks like they're trying to invade Dublin. Uh, and... Yeah, I mean that's just just how I feel about it. So I'm just I'm just, I'm just asking myself: Is do I really want you know for twenty bucks a congressional mechanic? Since that's the part I'm going to actually care about, I don't think so. So I think it's going to be like Imperator Rome. I'm just gonna if and they and they always have given me the free Tarts of Iron Four DLC. They yeah they never have not given it to me. Uh, and so they're going to probably contact me here pretty soon and say, here's your code. But if they don't for some reason, I don't think I'm going to pick it up. I might pick it up eventually, but like I'm going to wait for a sale. I'd only pick it up if I felt like it was interfering with me playing a mod to its fullest extent. I don't, have they even released any achievements yet? Because as, as many of you know, I'm an achievement hunting whore. Uh, so uh, I'm all about the achievement hunts. If there's some interesting ones, I'll definitely get into that. All right, uh, patents people look to be all done here. All right, so now we're gonna wanna put these guys I think right here. Now, was I, um, was, oh, that's research. Who, who was I, uh, I was, I was declaring on somebody, wasn't I? We're justifying on Garangze. All right, yeah, cause, cause we got that other one done. So now, um, Burundi as well. It's gonna take 225 days, and then should we just do this now? Ooh, 450. I thought no, no, no. Okay, so once Patton is in position, we're gonna we're gonna start cleaving into these guys pretty fast. Uh, they're out of uh, manpower also, so that's pretty sweet. Very good. Very very good. Uh, a little trouble advancing though. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. My name is Jonas, and I'm driving across Africa. Uh, but, but you know, one of the things that uh, I know has been controversial in the lead up to Man the Guns is that Mexico is going to be able to get Trotsky as a leader. Whoop! <laughs> is uh, is going is to be able to have Trotsky as a leader, and I guess you could try to then have him invade the Soviet Union or something. Uh, and so, if I have time before man the guns comes out and if i don't i'll just do it afterwards i think uh i believe the new the new so it's the equivalent of the soviet union it's called like the russian socialist soviets republics or i don't remember what it's called in fewer reich uh like its exact name but but like there's supposed to be a path where trotsky can take charge so maybe i could do something where i have him take charge of russia in there and then compare that to to a, a Mexico run where he tried to take charge of it or something. I don't know. I'm just I'm just kind of thinking out loud here. Try to cut across here, get the caucuses cut off. Okay, is Patton in position? No, not even a little bit. Oh, the South, the South. Shoot, whoops, my bad. 
Much better. Whoop, wait, no, 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 hold. Just get in position, come over there. All right, uh, we got some real supply issues. Let's do, I see, and I gotta depend on Portugal to take care of this. I can I can only do so much. So, yeah, we were putting the infrastructure here. I know this isn't going to help much, but something, right? Maybe. How's it going over here? You see in the Continental, over here in Europe, we're doing all right. We're doing all right, doing all right. We're doing all right, driving south of Moscovy. Moscava. Let's get up there. Really start pushing into some of their core territory areas. Yeah, it's starting to, to, that's how we're going to get rid of their backup manpower is we're taking these big population centers from them. Okay. Now when, um, hmm, you guys are taking their time moving. Rouse the people, more stability and war support. Yep, gonna need all of it that I can get when it comes time to absorb all of this Africa. You know, maybe I should get myself in a position where I could do some naval invasions from India up here. Do I have Do I have an army in this area? I don't think so. You know, what? let's uh, let's get some Marines made. Ooh, what's the problem here? Uh, I'm short logistically with what? Uh, artillery. Does this look worse than it is? 50 days. Okay, the anti-tank is going to take 201 days. The motorized is going to take 199 days. Support equipment is going to take 168 days. Uh, okay, let's think of something else here then. Okay, this, this airport's capacity is way too high. Uh, could we maybe get some strategic bombers down here? War fighters, yeah, whatever. That, that's fine. Um, let's try to get some air superiority, maybe in this area, and then uh, we'll start nuking our way south. Also, do we have transport planes? Have I been building any of those? Hmm. How's it looking up here? We do not have superiority over the Baltic Sea. Let's try to take care of that. There goes Belarusa. Uh, I don't really care who gets it. Just gotta keep moving. Keep pushing forward. That was a nice big uh, bite though. We're practically outside the gates of Moscow. 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 Mos Moscow. You guys know what I'm talking about. Uh, we're definitely have taken more losses. Who's taken the most? Oh, it's France, isn't it? Did France ever end up coring? Yeah, but they're just almost out anyway. The United Kingdom's doing all right. And then, yeah, these guys have pretty much got nothing because they don't core things. You know, seeing Seratov here reminds me, I really got to find a way that I can play uh, Empire Earth again. Because uh, I really want to one day put on the channel one of my favorite... Um, campaigns for me like there's a lot of so empire earth it's a it's a real-time strategy game and one of my all-time favorite campaigns from it is the russian campaign now of the four campaigns in the original three of them are historical but the russian one is a uh, sci-fi uh future history and so it takes place in oh i don't remember i think it starts in like 2050 or something uh, and it's about this guy who um 
he's he's basically a terrorist who wants to take control of Russia and uh he's got his little following and they run away to uh where did they go? Did they go to Stal Yeah, it was it was Stalingrad. Although it wasn't called Stalingrad, it was Petrograd. I think not Petrograd, it was um it was called something else, but it wasn't Stalingrad. But like he says, this city was once known as Stalingrad. May I, hopefully I'll be able to make a legacy greater than his. Uh, you know, with the Russian accent, uh, but done better than me. Uh, so anyway, and, and, and so it's kind of cool. So the first mission in it is uh, you're just trying to carve out, like you build, you have this small army and you're trying to carve out a section of Russia. So like you take... Um, you have to take Seratov and uh, what was it? Rostov, and there was another city. But most importantly, you have to take Verones. That's the that's how you end the campaign. Or that scenario is by taking Verones. But that scenario gets just so crazy because at for, once you do that, and then smash cuts to that you've like the, the the coup is complete and you've taken control of Russia, and then you but then like you have what is the and this is like the, the, the second scenario in this campaign is uh, from what I've always seen online is widely considered to be the hardest campaign in the entire game. It is like almost impossible because what happens is you want to expand west uh, uh, now into like Europe, so you've got to take. Um, you have to occupy two of the following three capitals. You need to take uh, Copenhagen, Kiev, and uh, or Warsaw. You have to take like two of those three, and there's still rebels within your country that you have to defeat. And basically, NATO is constantly sending support east, and they're like trying to nuke you, and they're invading you, and it's just it's just almost impossible to do. And the only and like I remember I used to look up online like how would people do this the regular way because I, I remember I would like try to do these quick blitz strategies, and from what I've seen, you have to blitz because uh, because like it's you're basically fighting all of Europe plus a civil war, and so it's like impossible to win the, if you don't finish it off fast because you just you're just gonna get overwhelmed but then it starts to get even wilder first then there's like another kind of sort of small civil war scenario when he dies and like who his heir is but then like you invade china for scenario four of the campaign then you're invading cuba for scenario five and then it really starts to get wild you then go you 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 start to go from the point of view of an american spy who gets sent back in time uh, to to basically kill him way back here when he's uh, you know trying to take Veronez, and uh, yeah, it's it's an amazingly amazingly fun campaign, and I hope hearing about it is helping distract from the fact that uh, you know we are in the slow slow part of the campaign, but I need my colonies. All right, tanks, move forward. Let's go. We gotta you know we gotta come down here. We gotta get down here and get access to some more ports. Uh, but we're also now going to have we got the war goal here. It's an interesting portrait. Yeah, so now everybody's getting called in there. Okay, we just gotta bump off the Germans here in these African nations, but the issue is that um it's Russia. That Russia war is causing horrific lag. Uh, but now we can justify over here. And I believe once we've taken them, there's no more of the former Middle Africa countries to take, I think. Okay, who's not doing anything? We, we, we got to have some... Okay, check this out. I want you all to come down here come over here to india please in whichever way you see fit all right so we'll come back to what they're doing later all right this is going very well um the push south but the other three scenarios in empire earth are really fun too uh let me try to remember. The first campaign is like a Greek campaign, so it covers Greek history from like the sons of Pelop 
uh, coming, you know, from the south up here to to Greece, and then you do, of course, the Trojan War, and then the you go through Alexander's conquests. So that's, like that's the end of the scenario. Is uh, yeah, Alexander conquering, doing his thing. Uh, all right. See, we keep we, get, we keep pushing them further and further here, but you know we haven't gotten an inch closer to Petrograd. Uh, so that's the first campaign, and then there's an English campaign where you actually start as a William the Conqueror, not even invading uh, his doing his William the Conqueror stuff. Uh, he you like you start with little wars that he was fighting over here in Normandy, and then it's not until the third scenario that you actually invade England. But then you do some of the Hundred Years' War stuff, and then it ends with you doing the Napoleonic Wars. Then there's the German campaign, uh, in which like is cut 50-50. The first four scenarios are World War One scenarios, where it's actually really air war focused, which I thought was cool because you're following um, the the Red Baron, of course, you know, uh, Manfred. What was it? What was, oh shoot, what was his name? It was Richthofen? Yeah, Manfred Richthofen. That was his name, right? Jeez, like, why don't I know that instantly? Like, 10-year-old me would be kicking my butt. But, you know, that's not what history is about. It's not about memorization of names and dates. It's good to know those, but that's not what real history is. Okay, that's that's trivia. Uh, oh, my gosh, they got the herps down here. You, you guys see it? See the herps? Uh, and then, yeah, and then the second half is World War II, which also ends in an alternate history thing because the final scenario is alternate history where you as Germany uh, invade the United Kingdom. Uh, so, like, you can only win the German scenario by doing that successfully. But I really liked the, the Navy stuff in the German scenario. I liked naval warfare in that game a lot. Air warfare often got on my nerves, but not all the time. That naval warfare and Empire Earth I thought was fun. It was simple, but fun. Okay, let's take this gap here. I'm gonna try to come here, at least get this cut off. Oh yeah, that's gonna be real nice. No sign of my divisions I'd sent over here because I've been thinking about maybe you know setting up some Marines to invade from that direction. Come on. Spread out, spread out. There we go. Finally, defend America. Defend America. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Let's get these guys out here. I'm looking forward to being able to blockade and man the guns. That is going to be sweet. Can't wait. All right, we got the encirclement here in the Caucasus, or a little bit north of them, really. Uh, but, you know, in this region. Yeah. That's good. That's real good. Oh, they got modern tanks. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? What's going on here? Oh, yeah, this fighting, too, here between the British and, and the Chinese. You got fighting over here, fighting over there. What a mess. What an absolute mess. Hmm. Okay. Let's take a look at the faction screen real quick. Oh yeah, my people pretty much own the world. But I think that's going to be as far as we can go today. We're sort of getting closer to Petrograd. But there's only so much to be done. Hmm. There we go. Uh. Hmm. Uh. 
What am I going to do here? Who is this? Portugal. What's Portugal doing with this huge fallback line? Just in case, guys, you know, the, like, guys, we've been reading a lot of history, and we're going into the winter in a war in Russia. We're going to need this line. It's <laughs> the only thing I can imagine. Uh, where are they in terms of population? Down to less than half a million recruitable. How about Germany? Jeez, why is Germany still hanging in there? They've got manpower now. They must have increased their conscription law, and I just didn't notice. Oh, great. And some of my modern tank divisions are retreating. All right, well, that's enough for today. Uh, thank you, or at least for this session. I will see you all in the next one in which we are hoping, hoping, hoping that Russia is going to capitulate, and that is going to speed up the game, help with the lag. Uh, but perhaps most importantly, it's going to free up tons of uh, divisions, which will probably just end up fighting Japan here in the Urals, but I'm really hoping are going to come down here to Africa. Ask for military access. We offer military. Let's do that. Maybe my allies can go through at least or something. Yeah, I can't believe my economy is actually having trouble. I've got this just shows how much I'm burning through. Oh, yeah, I'm out of infantry equipment. Oh, boy, it's party time now. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We delete everybody's orders here. Let's make our own fallback line with blackjack and hookers. We're going to put them over here. Oh, somebody built a rocket base. Would you look at that? Okay, so we're going we're gonna to move everybody over there and get them set up for a big push to Petrograd. Hmm. There are people in the Red Sea. Why? What little we have left. We have a bit of a navy. Hmm. Well, anyway, yeah, like I was saying, I will see you all in the next one. Have a great one. Bye.